second graders. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday today. We're going to be working on talking about your plus nine math fact strategy, which is the strategy of the month for October. And we are also going to be talking about solving double digit subtraction problems with and without regrouping. So let's get started. Okay, if you have this math fact here, You may have seen in the video before this, a trick that you can do is take one away from this number, one less than three is two, and then add a 10 in the front and you can get your answer. Another way to look at this problem is the way I was showing you last week, where you make your nine into a 10, add the three, 10 plus three, and then take one away. So 10 plus three is 13 and 13 minus 1 is 12. So either way you do it, you're getting the same answer. You're just, whenever you make this number into a 10, you have to remember to take one away from this number. Okay? And you get your 12. How would you solve this problem? This is going to be the last one that we do for today. Okay, so nine plus four. If we make the nine into a 10, we can solve 10 plus four really fast and easy. What is 10 plus four? 10 plus four is 14. And then we take one away since we had to add one. What is 14 take away one? 13. So there's several different ways that you can go about solving these plus nine math facts, but if you try to make it a 10, since 9 is very close to 10, just remember you have to take one back away. Since you added that one, you have to take it away to make sure that you get the correct answer. All right, we're going to talk now about a word problem that I have for you, and we're going to use Apps Check to help us solve it. All righty, so here it is. Mrs. Clark had 28 pieces of candy. She gave 12 pieces of candy away. How many pieces of candy remain? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is the A of apps check, which is analyze the problem. So let's think about the problem here and think about what's important. Let's go and look for the question first, okay? Listen to the problem and listen for the question. Mrs. Clark had 28 pieces of candy. She gave 12 pieces of candy away. How many pieces of candy remain? What's the question there? The question that they want us to answer is, how many pieces of candy remain? I'm gonna circle my question mark to remember this is what I'm trying to answer. All right, now let's go through and listen to each sentence and listen for what's important to help me solve how many pieces of candy remain. Mrs. Clark had 28 pieces of candy. What's important in that sentence? 28 is important. It tells me how many pieces of candy I started with. She gave 12 pieces of candy away. What's important in that sentence? 12 is important, and also I think the um, words gave and away are important. If Miss Clark is giving away candy, is she adding to what she has or taking away? I'm taking away. If I'm giving away candy, I'm not getting more. I'm actually getting less because I'm giving it away. So these words here help me to know that I need to subtract to get the answer here. Okay, so we just analyzed the problem. Now let's plan how we're going to solve it. Let me put my plus sign and minus sign here. So when we talked about this problem, we already talked about the words and how they helped me to know I'm going to be adding or subtracting. Which one? I'm going to subtract for this problem. Now, what exactly am I going to do when I subtract? What's my number sentence going to look like? Well, let's draw a strip diagram first here. Okay, 
So how many pieces of candy did Miss Clark start with? I started with 28 pieces of candy, okay? That's my whole. I gave away 12 pieces. I'm trying to solve, sorry, let me turn off the light because it's got a glare. I'm trying to solve to find out what is this missing part. How many pieces remain? Remain means how many are left. So I need to do the number sentence 28 because I started with 28 minus 12. And we're going to solve to see how many pieces are left after I gave away the 12. Okay, so to solve this problem today, I think what I'm going to do is some base 10 blocks. We're going to use base 10 blocks. So I need to build the number 28. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light back on now. Okay, 28, 10, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. All right, if we have 28, now we need to take away 12 to get the answer. So let's take away our ones first because when you start to do this with the equation or the algorithm, you're going to start with the ones place. So let's take away our ones first. We need to take away two ones. One, two, and we need to take away one, ten. How many are left? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, twenty-eight minus twelve is sixteen. I can check this by, I'm going to get to my check spot now. I'm going to check it by adding these back together and seeing if I get twenty-eight. If I do, I know that I had the correct answer of sixteen. Okay, when I add these together and I'm counting base 10 blocks, it's easier for me to start by counting the 10s. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I got 28. So I was able to check my work and I got the correct number that I started with. So I know that 16 was my correct answer. Okay, and this shows you I had 16, I took away 12 or I had 28, I mean, I took away 12, and now I have 16. Okay, so can we answer the question now? How many pieces of candy remain? 16 pieces of candy remain, so I still have some left. All right, we're going to work a few subtraction problems, and we're not going to... Um, do all word problems like last week, but we're just going to work a few number sentences together or equations. All right, so if I have 34 minus 21, there are a few different ways I can solve this. Yep, last week we really worked on using your base 10 blocks. We also kind of touched on using a number line. We're going to practice that again today. And we're also going to look at another strategy that you can use of using expanded form. So let's look at the expanded form way first because we didn't really do that last week. Okay, in first grade you learned a lot about expanded form. Expanded form is just when you stretch out the number. So in 34, what number sentence equals 34 if I stretch it out? How many tens are in 34? There are three tens, 10, 20, 30. Those three tens represent 30. So the expanded form is 30 plus four ones. 30 plus four equals 34. And then for 21, the expanded form is, we've got two tens, so 10, 20, 20 plus one. Okay, so 20 plus 1 equals 21. Now, you can use what we just figured out to help you solve the problem. Remember, we're subtracting here. So basically, we can make this into a big subtraction problem. Those were just equal signs that I drew there because that's what these equal. If I do 30 plus 4 minus 20 plus 1, I made it into easier numbers for me to understand. 
and this may be easier for you to understand. It's just important that you know different strategies. Okay, so what is four takeaway one? Four takeaway one is three. And then what is 30 take away 20? 30 take away 20. 30 take away 20 is 10. Okay, so now my plus signs stay the same. I can solve and figure out the answer right here. What is 10 plus 3? 10 plus 3 is 13. So 34 minus 21 is 13. The way we solved that was just by making the numbers into expanded form and then subtracting from the expanded form. And I know that seems like a lot of extra work, but it may be easier, um, like once you get into larger numbers, if you're able to break them down that way, it may be easier and help you to solve the problem. Okay, let's try another problem. We'll do expanded form again, and then we'll look at a different strategy. Okay, what if I have 95 minus 24? Let's stretch it out into expanded form. What's the expanded form of 95? There are nine tens, and those nine tens represent 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 90 plus how many? Five. 90 plus five is 95, and then 24. If I do the expanded form of 24, what do I have? I've got two tens, so 10, 20 plus Four. Okay, now I'm going to subtract these. Remember, this was a subtraction problem. We just figured out the expanded form to help us subtract. Okay, what is 5 minus, and I know these plus signs may confuse you. Remember, those are just part of the expanded form. What is 5 minus 4? 5 take away 4 is 1. Okay, and I'm going to bring my plus sign down. What is 90 minus 20? That means I have I start at 90 and go back two tens. So if I'm counting backwards from 90, 90, 80, 70. I just went back 20, see? 10, 20. So 70. 90 minus 20 is 70. Now to figure out the answer, I just have to figure out 70 plus 1. What is 70 plus 1? 70 plus 1 is 71. All right. So that's how you're able to solve these using expanded form. It's pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's do a few using an open number line. All right. How about 38 minus 19? 38 take away 19. Alright, so using an open number line, I'm going to draw my number line like this. Now, whenever I use an open number line to help me solve problems, I need to pay attention to the sign. I'm subtracting. When you subtract, you start at the far right side of your number line because when you subtract, you start with a larger number. If you were adding, you would start on the left side because when you add, you start small and add and get larger, okay? So we're gonna be starting over here since we're subtracting and we're starting at 38. All right, now we are going to subtract. First, let's look at our tens. There's a one in the tens place. So we're going to use one big 10 jump here. Okay, so we're taking away 10, and then we have nine ones, so nine small jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're going to count and figure out where we're at. Let me grab my hundred chart here. Oh, that's not my hundred stretch. That's okay. 
I will grab it for our next lesson. Okay, so if we're counting backwards from 38, 10 less, think about if we're counting by 10s, 38, 48, 58, but we're going backwards. So 38, 28, and then count by 1s. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. So, 38 minus 19 is 19. We can check it by counting forwards if we wanted to. We could say, okay, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, plus 10 is 38. So that's correct. Let's do one more with the open number line. The open number line is really helpful right now, especially if you don't know how to regroup yet um, and you don't have base 10 blocks. An open number line is definitely helpful. The only thing with the open number line is you have to be able to count by tens starting at any number, and that is something that you're expected to do in second grade. So if you still have some trouble counting by tens starting at like, if I say count by tens starting at 16, and you're not sure how to do that, you may want to practice that because that is something that you'll have to know how to do in second grade. Okay, if I have 61 minus 24. All right, using my open number line here, since we are subtracting, remember we have to start on the far right because when we subtract, we start with a larger number and larger numbers go over here on the number line on the right side. All right, so we're starting at 61. Now we have to take away 24. How many tens are in 24? There are two tens in 24, so we got to do two 10 jumps. And then how many ones are there? There are four ones, so four small jumps. One, two, three, four. And let's see what we end with. All right, so if we're at 61 and we're counting backwards by tens, 61, 51, 41, and now we count by ones. 40, 39, 38, 37. So 61 minus 24 is 37. We can check our work by counting back up to make sure we get to 61. So if this is 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, big 10 jump, 51, more tens, and 61. So this is correct. All right, we will work some more on our double digit subtraction tomorrow. See you then.